Now, um, my lovely assistant here, Kate, <laughs> we're going to demonstrate how to properly put on and take off PPE using the buddy system. I will be um, Kate's um, trained observer. Kate will um, put and take off her clothes. So as we do this, we have a checkoff list similar to a flight warm-up for an airplane. Okay, we're not going to skip any steps. We're going to take our time. We're going to do it step by step. So our first step is to make sure we have all of our equipment. Okay. So the next step, okay, first thing we always do, hand hygiene. So next you put on your first gloves. Again, this is not a sterile procedure, so we're not using surgical technique. We're just putting stuff on here. Okay. Next step is to put on your, or your coveralls. So you'll step into your coveralls. Now put your arms in. can zip part way. Yeah. That little protective flap is very easy to catch. Okay. I will now inspect your suit to see if there are any holes or tears. Alright, you may now put your boots on. <coughs> the boots go underneath the Tyvex. She already has some sh um, covers on her feet. Now you uh, should place on your N95 respirator. Now pull your hood up and zip to your chin. Okay. <laughs> now we'll place on the face shield. The face shield may be carefully tightened by the straps on the side. Now ensure your inner gloves are tucked inside your tie back. Okay. Place your outer gloves on. Thank you. 
Lastly, hand hygiene one more time. You may now go into the room. When you are the, in the room, please remember not to touch your face. This can be quite difficult not to touch your face, especially if you cough, sneeze, have an itch above your eye. Okay. So remember not to touch your face. Your hands should remain in, in, within your vision at all times. Do not drop your hands below your waist. Do not reach over the patient. If you need something on the other side, walk around the room. I will now don my protective gear so that I can assist you in taking your gear off. As the trained observer, my job will be when she comes out of the room is to assist her in the decontamination process. I will be wearing a face shield, double gloves, an apron, either boots or shoe protectors, and a face shield. The reason is um, I could potentially become uh, in contact with contaminated material on Kate. So this is all taking part in a separate area now of the exit of the room, okay? Spray down all visible surfaces, including hands, feet. And as you do this, you inspect for any soilage, tears, contaminated areas. All right, go ahead and turn around again. Okay, and hands. And over. And run. Okay. <coughs> Generally, you need to wait a couple of minutes. It will tell you on your guide to whatever disinfectant, two minutes by the clock. All right, Kate, I'm going to help you remove your, your apron now. Pull your apron away from you. Okay. And place in the discard bin. down, turn around, spray down, turn around, make sure everything's sprayed, and, and hygiene. <laughs> you may now remove your boots. So we get rid of the dirtiest things first. So that's the apron and the boots. The boots go in a bin for disinfection. Okay, Kate, I'd like you now to remove your outer gloves, rolling them inside out.
now we will remove your face shield. I'd like you to bend slightly forward. Take your face shield by the back, pull it up and over and away from you, and discard your face shield. Now unzip completely. I will help you remove your hood. Now remove from the inside out. Remove your respirator, lean slightly forward, okay. and pull away from your body. And lastly, squirt. <laughs> <laughs> Remove your inner gloves. You may now exit the room and take your shower. <laughs> <laughs>